Welcome to today's educational journey, where we dive into a crucial topic for aspiring educators by understanding the passing score and the process to determine the average rating on licensure examinations for professional teachers. For anyone aspiring to become a teacher, these exams are a critical milestone on the path to fulfilling that dream. In this video, we'll discuss the passing score, explore what it takes to achieve it, and unravel the steps to calculate on how to get the average rating. Whether you're a future educator or just curious about the rigorous standards teachers must meet, join us as we unravel the secrets behind the numbers and processes that shape the teaching profession. Let's get started. In the licensure examination for professional teachers or left for elementary teachers, the passing score is determined by two distinct subject areas. General education and professional education, carrying respective weights of 40% and 60%. To successfully pass this rigorous examination, an examinee is required to achieve an average rating of no less than 75%, with the additional stipulation that no individual test should yield a score lower than 50%. These criteria, set by the Republic of the Philippines Professional Regulation Commission, ensure that individuals entering the noble profession of teaching meet high standards of competence and knowledge, contributing to the enhancement of the educational landscape in the country. Let us reflect upon the significance of three key factors the weight assigned to each subject, the required average rating, and the minimum rating that you need to reach in each subject area. We will delve into each of these factors and provide illustrative examples to show the process of achieving the passing score. In this table you will notice that we added the raw score, percentage or the rating, and average rating. Before we show the process on how to get them, let us first define them one by one. First, the raw score. The raw score is the number of correct answers or points obtained by a test taker on an examination before any adjustments or scaling. It represents the actual number of items answered correctly without considering any additional factors. Second, the percentage, also referred to as the rating, is the proportion of the total possible points or items answered correctly by a test taker, expressed as a percentage. It provides a standardized way to evaluate a test taker's performance by comparing their score to the maximum achievable score. Lastly, average rating. The average rating is the mean or average of all the percentages or ratings obtained by a test taker across various sections or subjects of an examination. It serves as an overall indicator of a test taker's performance and is often used as a criterion for passing or failing an examination. To determine the rating in the general education subject, let us say that the examinee obtain a score of 110 out of 150 item. The solution involves dividing the raw score, which is 110 correct answers, by the total number of items and then multiplying the result by 100. This calculation reveals that the examinee achieved a percentage or rating of approximately 73.33%. To determine the average rating, we need the rating for the general education subject, which is 73.33%. The weight for the general education subject is 40%. To find the average rating for the general education subject, multiply the subject's rating by its weight. 73.33 times 0 0.40 you will get an average rating in general education of 29.33%. To calculate the percentage or rating in professional education subject, the same process will be apply. Let us say that the examinee obtain a score of 120. Then apply the same process to obtain the rating. Raw score divided by number of items. You will get 80%. By applying the same process that we did in general education to get the average rating. Rating times weight. Then, 80 times 0 0.60 you will get 48%. To determine if you pass or failed in the board examination, add the average rating that you get from two subjects. In this case, 29.33% in general education. And 48% in professional education. Then, you will obtain a total average rating of 77.33%, which is according to the Republic of the Philippines Professional Regulation Commission, in order for the examinee to pass the licensure examination for professional teachers, an examinee must obtain the average rating of not less than 75% and must have no rating lower than 50% in any of the tests. Therefore, with the raw score obtained in general education which is 110 and raw score obtained in professional education which is 120, 
given the total average rating of 77.33%. This means that you pass the licensure examination for professional teachers. Let us have another example, this time we will calculate the final rating of a secondary teacher examinee. We will use the most controversial passing score which is 113 correct answers in all the subjects area. In general education, professional education, an area of specialization. By applying the same process that we used in getting the rating of the elementary teacher examinee. We will have 113 divided by 150. We will get 75.33%. Use the same process in getting the rating in the other subject areas. For professional education and area of specialization, you will get the same result. This means that in order to get 75% rating you will need 113 correct answers in all subject areas. Now, we will get the average rating. You will notice that the weight in all the subject areas for secondary teacher examinee is different from the weight that we have earlier for elementary education. As well as, the additional subject which is the area of specialization. In secondary teacher examinee, the general education subject has 20% weight. While, in professional education and area of specialization, both have 40% weight. To get the average rating, the same process will be used in getting the average rating for elementary teacher examinee. Percentage or the rating, times the weight. For general education, we have 75.33% times 0.20. We get, 15.07%. Applying the same process to get the average rating for professional education and area of specialization. Percentage or the rating, times the weight. We have 75.33% times 0.40. We get, 30.13%. In two subject areas, professional education and area of specialization. Now, let's add the average rating in all subject areas. 15.07% plus 30.13% plus 30.13%. We will get a total of 75.33%, which is according to Professional Regulatory Board for Professional Teachers, in order for an examinee to pass the licensure examination for professional teachers, an examinee must obtain an average rating of not less than 75% and must have no rating lower than 50% in any of the tests. Therefore, with a raw score of 113 in all subject areas an examinee will get an average rating of 75.33%. This means that, the examinee pass the licensure examination for professional teachers. How will an examinee fail the licensure examination for professional teachers? According to Professional Regulatory Board for Professional Teachers, an examinee will get a failed remarks, if, the examinee get an average rating below, 75%. Or, an examinee get a rating below, 50% in one of the subject area even though the total average is above 75%. As you notice in this example, the examinee failed to get 50% or above in general education subject. Even though the examinee have a total average rating of 75.86%. Some teachers do not believe that 113 correct answer is needed to get approximately 75% of 150 item exam. Teachers, bear in mind that we are talking the percent value here or percentage, and not raw score. A 75% passing score is very high. This means that in order to pass the licensure examination for professional teachers do not settle for the less. Before taking the examination please prepare. And preparation for licensure examination is a broad context. As a proof I will present to you the overall passing rate in licensure examination for teachers, gathering the data from 2009 to 2019. This table shows the combination of passing rate per year. As we know, the licensure examination for teachers is conducted regularly twice a year or more. You will notice that the highest passing rate for elementary education is 48% in 2012. Likewise, in secondary education 48% as well in 2018 while the lowest passing rate in elementary education is 18% in 2010, while in secondary education is 26% in the same year. If we analyze these data in 2010, 
which is the lowest passing rate performance of both education areas. Let us say that there are 100,000 takers in both areas. You will notice the difference between the passers in green and failed in red. Since based on the given data from 2009 to 2019 none of this year's got 50% passing rate. Therefore, the licensure examination for professional teachers is never easy. Taking board examinations is never an easy task for teachers. It demands thorough preparation and dedication before they step into the examination hall. Often, some of the top performers, known as top-notchers, excel in these challenging examinations because they commit themselves to rigorous and prolonged review periods. Absolutely, success in board examinations isn't solely defined by being a top-notcher. What truly matters is that teachers pass the exam. Whether they achieve the highest scores or not, passing the examination signifies your competency and readiness to contribute effectively in this profession. So, regardless of their ranking, passing the exam is a significant achievement that should be celebrated and acknowledged as a crucial milestone in your teaching careers. Congratulations to all the dedicated teachers who have completed the board examination. You've taken on a significant challenge and have shown your commitment to your profession. Now that you've done your part, it's important not to overthink the result. Remember, it's out of your control, and you've already demonstrated your best. The waiting period for the results can be long, but try not to stress yourselves too much during this time. Focus on taking care of yourselves, and trust that your hard work will pay off. Pray for the Lord for whatever the result, it is all about His plan for you. Well done, and congratulations for the results ahead.